have you ever wondered how to add kisses or kisses with lipstick to your romantic or wedding images? Well, in today's tutorial, I will show you how to do exactly that using the powerful Luminar Neo. So if you're ready for today's creative and fun project, we are starting right now. Okay, so moving into Luminar Neo, where we're going to be working on our little project. It's just a fun project where we're going to use overlays of the kisses and add them, in our case, on our baby. But you're more than welcome to use them on your future projects and just have a little bit of fun with it. Now, even if you're not going to use or add the kisses, I think it's a great little episode where you're going to learn how to use overlays, how to change blend modes and how to apply some additional touches. So anyway, one more time. This is almost what we're going to be creating. But um, more importantly, if you want to follow me along, jump into the description of this video, follow the link there, download the sample files, add them into Luminar Neo so we can start. One more quick note, the kisses, they are part of our overlay collection, which is part of our romance overlay bundle. We are just around Valentine's Day, so if you're looking for some elements for this special celebration or maybe for the upcoming wedding season, definitely check out this bundle by following the link in the description of this video or even better, head to our website cleverphotographer.com. Once you have the elements ready, let's select the baby, which should be called sample file one, and we're going to move it into the editing module. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be adding the kisses using the overlays. So moving into our layers panel, that's where we're going to do that. And here we're going to click on the plus sign. Once you do that, you will see a number of different overlays and textures here. What we're looking for is the button says load image. And from here, you navigate into the folder of the sample files. Inside, you should see a folder called Kisses Overlays. So simply open it. And again, inside, there will be three overlays. Well, with the kisses or lipsticks. Let's just select the first one and very quickly click on Open. And we're going to repeat the same one more time. Load image. Select the second overlay. Click on Open. And for the third time, select the third overlay and click on Open. Now we have all three overlays in. So very easily, we're just going to select the first one, click on it and add it on our image. Now, when we add it, you can see that it's selected because it has the orange frame around it in our layers panel as well as on our image. And once we have it selected, well, we can work with it. Now to work with it, we're going to navigate towards our main editing toolbar and we will start in the layer properties here. First, we're going to try different image mapping. Let's have a look. Fit, which will bring it back to its original ratio. You can also click on fill, which will spread it across the image or stretch. Now the stretch distorted again. Fill, we don't want it as big, but with the fit, that will give us nicely the original ratio. And that's what we are looking for. Once we do that, we can use the little white handle to make it a little smaller. And then once we hover over, we can very easily move it around and place it wherever we want. Now, we don't want it too big. So I think just somewhere around here. And let's say that the first kiss will be yeah, maybe here. It's up to you where you're going to add it. But I think around here looks good. Now you saw me rotating it. And to do that, just hover outside of the overlay that will change into this little double arrow. And then you can just very easily rotate the overlay around. OK, so around here, maybe just a little smaller. And that looks good. Now back to our layer properties, where are we going to increase the opacity to 100? Now looking at it, that looks a little bit too strong, right? Well, what we can do first, very easily, we can just bring the opacity down until we like the result. So yeah, maybe somewhere around 60 or 70. Or additionally, we can bring it back to 100 and change the blend mode from normal into whatever we like. Well, let's go through it. It's actually very simple. When we hover over the blend mode, it gives us a preview on the image. So first, let's zoom in a little closer using our shortcut here, maybe like 100% and use 
uh, and then back to our layer properties where again we're gonna go back to our blend modes and back to darken which kind of look okay i don't mind that multiply definitely not color burn no light too light <laughs> screen just too bright so into overlay soft light or hard light now soft light for me looks quite nice i like that or hard light looks nice but it's just a little bit strong but again you can use for example hard light and adjust the opacity it's up to you whatever you prefer so back to blend modes let's just finish it difference no subtract no hue no color no and luminosity neither by the way if you're still not sure about the different blend modes we have a full tutorial explaining every single one of them on our youtube channel and you should definitely check it out so the ultimate decision is up to you go for soft light or hard light in my case you know what i will go for the soft light keep the opacity on 100 and that's that now let's add another case so back to our layers panel click on plus sign and select the second overlay that will do exactly the same thing add it to our image and once we have it there we're going to go back to layer properties again make sure that you have a new one selected click on the fit which will give us the original ratio then adjust the size position it wherever you want if you want again you can rotate it you can maybe make it a little bit smaller this time place it right here maybe zoom in a little bit and back to layer properties increase the opacity to 100 and change the blend mode from normal into the soft light so that's our second case now we can add another one if we want on the cheek or you know what we could do we could add one to the leg here so let's add the third one back to our layers plus sign third kiss selected again only takes a second now once you know what you're doing it's super fast fit change the blend mode into the soft light increase the opacity adjust the size and then down here to the leg <laughs> now it needs to be smaller right so i'm thinking probably around here again it's up to you once i place it there how does it look well because the area it's a little bit darker it looks a little too defined so what we're gonna do we're gonna adjust the opacity let's say to um i think 70 now it's up to you but i think 70 works quite nice so that's it for the three kisses by the way if you would like to speed up the process you can let's say pick up the first kiss we have created so you can click on it here or you can select it in the layers panel and rather than adding another overlay by going into plus and adjusting all the sizes and blend modes you can actually right click on a case and just select duplicate layer now the advantage of it is that once it's going to be duplicated it will have all the adjustments built in all the blend modes size rotation and everything so you can just very easily maybe adjust the size rotate it around and let's say place it here this time the only disadvantage of using too many same kisses will be that eventually they will all start to look the same now you can play around for example with the blown blend mode or opacity which will kind of minimize the risk of looking same but uh, it is a faster way to do this so once we have fourth kiss do we want it there i'm not sure i think two will be enough so if we're not going to use this one back to layers panel right click on a layer and we can choose hide which will just hide it and it's going to stay on our layers panel or we can again right click on it and select remove layer and that will remove it completely so one more quick check let's just adjust the keys maybe place it right here and see i think this all looks good now since we have the kisses selected and added there is one more thing i want to show you here so let's say that there is this kiss right here and um let's say that i don't like the color or maybe the uh, luminosity of the color and it's actually very easy to adjust this what you can do once you have it selected you can go back to the editing toolbar then navigate into the essentials panel and here select the color tool once you do that first from here you can adjust the overall saturation or vibrance of the case so you can bring it down and make the case much less saturated now this doesn't look great but at least you know that you can very gently kind of color match the two between each other using the saturation 
or you can also use the vibrance again bring it down and adjust it or you can increase it and make it even more vibrant whatever you prefer i think for me just a little down maybe minus 20 just to make them a little bit closer to each other Additionally, for those who would like to be a little bit more adventurous, we can open the HSL panel, which will give us the chance to adjust the hue, saturation and luminance of the specific colors. Obviously, for our kisses, we are focusing on red. So, for example, with the hue, we can make the kiss look orange, so very orange, or more towards magenta, which is also quite nice. It gives us a different shade and it looks a little bit more vibrant like we have the different colors but for me from that kind of composition and from the balance i probably keep it on the same color just so it's not too distracting after that of course you can also adjust the saturation here which pretty much does the same as the saturation and you can adjust the luminance where you can make it look much darker or much brighter it is up to you. You can really adjust it a lot or not, but I just wanted to make sure that you know how to do that. Maybe we bring the vibrance even more down. I'm going to go to minus 40 and quick look before and after. Not a massive difference, but still let's close the color and continue. So now we have the kisses added. It's kind of fun. It looks OK. However, I would like to do or apply some additional adjustments just to make sure that it all blends nicely together. So how are we going to do that? Well, if you watched any of my previous overlay tutorials, you know that I like to blend everything together, all the layers, and then apply kind of global adjustments to it. To do that, well, the easiest way right now in Luminar Neo is to export the image in the highest possible quality then bring it back and continue with the edit. So let's do that. Right click on the image, go into the export. And in the new window, let's navigate towards the location of the sample files where I am already. We're going to change the name of this of this new file. I quite often like to use mid edit, but the name is very much up to you. I will go for the mid edit. And then before we continue, let's adjust the settings. Well, sharpening or none, we don't want to add any additional sharpening. Resize to original. Let's just not make it smaller or bigger. Color space as RGB works well. Format, well, the highest possible quality in Luminar Neo for export is stiff. So we will select that. 300 pixels on inch works very well. Now for the compression, you can stick to none if you really want a high quality, but I like the files to be just a little bit smaller. So I choose the LZW depth, keep it on 16 bits and don't forget to uncheck the save transparency. Once finished, click on save and let's give the application a moment to export the image. Once it's going to be exported, we will go into the catalog module where you're going to add it using the add photos. Or if like in my case, you have actually added the folder, you will have the image already here. So let's select the mid edit image and move it again into edit panel. Here you can see that we have the kisses there. And at the same time, we only have one image. All the layers are blended. So we're going to continue. Different things we can do. However, when I add kind of heavy objects like the skies and overlays and new elements, one thing I like to do is to go into the creative section and use multiple tools here. One, for example, which works very well with the portraits is a simple film grain. So opening the film grain and adding touch of it will just blend everything nicely together. So we will go, let's say, to 10. Not much, just a touch. First, it will make it a little bit more cinematic and it will nicely blend it together. So we will do that. After that, if you follow my tutorials, you know that I'm a massive fan of Mystical Tool. And I think specifically for this image, it will work very, very well. So let's take the slider and increase it. Now what it does, it creates nice contrast, add beautiful glow, warmth, and I think it just works super well. So we're going to do that. Uh, about 30, I think will work fine. Now, after that, as I mentioned, Mood Tool and LUT would be one option on how to blend it together. But before we're going to do that, there is one more tool we could use. And that tool is hiding in a portrait section. In a portrait section, we will head into the skin AI and we're going to open that tool. 
Now we're gonna zoom in a little bit closer. Let's focus on the face. And with the skin AI open, let's increase the amount. Now this will scan the image, prepare the mask for us. And if we really push it, you will see that the whole kiss and the lipstick blends much nicely together. Now it makes the image softer, that's true. So what you can do, you can either bring it down or even better, you can actually use masking. So let's bring it down, let's not go for 100, let's go for around 80 and then head into masking, select the brush, stick to paint because we want that specific part to be selected, softness on 100, strength on, well, let's go for 60. Let's make the brush a little bigger. I'm using bracket keys to do that, but you can use the size slider. And let's make just one brush, so one clip. That will take the effect or remove it from the entire image, and it will only appear wherever we're going to brush. So I made it a little smaller, and now we're going to brush. And as we brush, you can notice that we get this red overlay, basically letting us know where we brushing. So one brush stroke here, second brush stroke here. Much better. Perfect. And this way we still get the texture on the baby face rather than removing it from everywhere. Then, since we have the brush selected, we need to use a space bar to move towards the lower part here. And we're going to do the same. We're going to just brush over this area. Perfect. Perfect. Back up. Let's use command or control zero to do that. We can close the skin AI tool. And as I mentioned, one more touch, little LUT. To do that, mood tool and click on the choose LUT drop down box. Here, let's just use one of the LUTs that come with the application. Or, of course, if you have the romance bundle, use one of the LUTs from there. However, for us, maybe cinematic toning. Once you open specifically this collection, let's go in. And when you hover over, you will see exactly what it applies to your image. Let's see, this is quite nice, or this one, let's have a look. I'm a massive fan of Long Beach, but I will leave the choice on you. I will go for the Long Beach, but again, it is up to you what you wanna do. You can adjust the amount you're applying, you can make it really strong or not. For me, somewhere around that default 30 works well. Contrast, you can bring it down or up, I will bring it down a little bit to minus 20. And saturation, well, let's have a look maybe to minus 10. If you would really wanna, you could finish it with vignette tool, simply bring the amount down, add a little bit more focus on the baby by opening the advanced setting and adding touch of inner light. And I think that's about it. So let's have a quick look before where we started from that mid edit to where we are now. Now, let's go back to film strip here. If you can't see it, it should be, um, there should be a little button which you should be able to click on and that will open the film strip here. Let's select or open the original image, which is this one. We're going to reset it by going into the adjustments and revert to original. And now we have the original image and we have the adjusted photo. So this is how you add kisses using overlays and layers panel in Luminar Neo. One more quick reminder, the kisses are part of our romance bundle. And if you want to find out more about it, then follow the link in the description of this video or head to our website, cleverphotographer.com. By the way, we have a full playlist of great edits that are really ideal for this romantic season or for the upcoming wedding season. And if you want to watch it, it should be already available on your screen now. Or even better, our YouTube channel has a video for every single tool in Luminar Neo. So if you ever get stuck, or if you want to enhance your editing skills and possibilities, then definitely head to our YouTube channel at Clever Photographer.